Okay, next let's continue building this drum kit of ours. So we've got our kick drums here and we've got a loop active on those kicks. What we're then gonna look for is we're gonna close the kick folder in the browser and we're gonna open the snare folder and find a snare sound that we like. I quite like this one, the 70s vinyl. So I'm gonna drag and drop this on the audio track above the kick. Now, in this four to the floor drum pattern that I was talking about, kicks are placed on every single beat of a bar. Snare drums, however, are placed on every second beat. So the first beat in the bar is just a kick drum. The second beat of a bar is a kick and a snare. Third beat of a bar, just a kick drum. Fourth beat of a bar, kick and snare. So I'm going to drag by holding while holding Option and uh, or Alt. I'm going to drag this snare file over to beat 1.4. I'm going to highlight both, copy them over to the next bar like this. And I could also do this quickly by highlighting them and pressing Command D on a Mac or Control D on a Windows laptop. And if I play play this back now, have a listen. Kick, snare, kick, snare. Now, using the track controls to the left, I can adjust the volumes of these two. So let's say I wanted the snare to be a little bit quieter. Drag this down. And the snare is a little bit quieter. Let's add one more sound. We're going to add a hi-hat. We're going to go for hi-hat to close the B. I quite like the sound of that. I'm going to drag it over here on our audio track that's already been created. And just to make sure I know this is a hi-hat, see, because this had already, already had a name beforehand, the name of the track didn't change to reflect the name of the audio sample, whereas the other two did change. But it's very easy. You can right-click and select Rename, or you can press Command-R, rename it, I'm going to name it hi-hat. Now, hi-hats in a four to the floor drum beat are placed in the middle of every beat. So if I zoom in, you'll see that now we've got the beginning of beat one over here, the beginning of beat 1.2 of beat two over here, and the halfway point between the two on 1.1.3. So I'm going to place the open hi-hat there going to drag it and place it there as well. If it was slightly too long, I can, if I want to, make them a little bit shorter like this. I'm holding Option or Alt if you're on a Windows laptop. I'm clicking and dragging. I can also highlight all of them, press Command D or Control D to copy them automatically. Let's have a listen to this. I'm sure if you're familiar with house music, you would have heard this pattern before. Again, I can adjust the volumes over here. I can turn up the hi-hat. I could pan the hi-hat, so bring it over to the left side of the stereo field, more towards your left earphone, or towards the right. I can also solo just the hi-hat, which mutes the rest of the sounds, and now we're just hearing the hi-hat. Or mute the hi-hat, so we're not hearing the hi-hat. Okay, before we move on, all I want you to do is to try to recreate exactly what we've done here. You can use different sounds, that's not a problem, but try to stick to a similar tempo and try to copy the pattern that we've created here. So kick drum on every beat, snare every second beat, hi-hat in the middle of two beats. 